Hey guys, it's Safiya here, and you're watching The Talko. Now, there's no denying that BTS has taken the world by storm. Yet the pop sensations are loved by many all over the world, including many of our favourite celebrities. Yep, a big list of stars have been showing their support for the boys. So we've gathered all of their thoughts about the band to share them all with you. Now, first up, we have Emma Stone, who's actually been a fan of K-pop for years. Back in 2015, she declared she was obsessed with the Korean music genre, saying it was a global phenomenon. Well, a few years later, and it's gained a lot more popularity. And BTS in particular has broken record after record, at the same time as giving the K-pop genre a great name. Now, unsurprisingly, many people out there want a piece of BTS right now, including Saturday Night Live, who invited them on their show. So we are BTS, and we're the musical guests on SNL this weekend. Woo! Stay tuned. Yeah. Now, ahead of their appearance, they released a teaser starring the one and only Emma Stone. Yep, along with other stars, they played excited fans, showing just how loved the BTS boys are by many people out there. Now, not everyone took it the funny way that it was apparently meant to be. Yep, take a look at these angry tweets. I understand that this is a joke and a skit, but the same joke has been made for years and years now, and it is so detrimental. It reduces fans to screaming fangirls, which then in turn disregards the music quality behind the groups we like. Sad to see something so uninspired. Now, in the video, Emma says no boys allowed, a line that has struck a chord with many fans who say the fandom is far more diverse. This person wrote, wondering when Western media will acknowledge that the majority of army are over 20. I mean, I'm a 41-year-old guy. But not everyone was offended. Some people said it's just what you have to expect from the show. If you are offended easily, don't tune into SNL. They exaggerate a lot and drag everyone and everything on their show. It's comedy, just chill. Not everyone can say they get dragged and roasted and made fun of by SNL. Yep, in a second promotional video, Emma and Cecily Strong are themselves not playing teenage fans. And in the video, they're surrounded by the boys and they still get super excited. So despite many people out there being angry by the initial promotional video, remember Emma has been an actual fan of K-pop for years. Okay, so next up, we have Halsey. Yep, this lady clearly loves the boys since she actually collaborated with them. The South Korean entertainment company Big Hit, which manages BTS, initially announced the news by sharing a teaser of the collaborative track Boy With Love. A second teaser also got 20 million views in just one day. Now that proves how popular they are. The song will be the band's lead single for their upcoming album. Now the video is actually set in an old school theater named after BTS's upcoming album, Map of the Soul Persona. Now the teasers alone for the Boy With Music video made it clear how popular the actual video would be. And it's now been revealed that the official music video has already broken records. Yep, it became the fastest video in history to surpass 10 million views on YouTube, which was achieved in less than three hours. It's no wonder these boys are loved by so many across the globe. Now, it's the time of the year where everyone's getting super excited about a certain show. Yeah, we're talking about Game of Thrones. But one star of the show revealed who she's a fan of. And yep, of course we're talking about BTS. Yep, a video was released online where the actors of Game of Thrones talked about their best fan encounters. Macy Williams, who plays Arya Stark, revealed a fan from Los Angeles once asked her to watch BTS's Burn the Stage movie together. And Macy happily accepted the invitation. Yep, she responded to the fan, I really wanted to watch that movie, but none of my friends like K-pop, so absolutely. So not only did she watch the whole movie, that became her best fan encounter too. Now moving on to Shawn Mendes. Last year, he actually actually promised that a BTS collaboration is coming. Sean spoke to a Toronto radio station about a collaboration with the Korean band and assured listeners that it will happen, saying, latest on the collaboration, they're a hard group to get with. They're busy people. I have no lyrics on their collaboration yet. It'll happen, promise. I can't give you a date because we haven't hung out and wrote a song yet, but it will happen. Cause I love them and I think they're fans too. So I promise. What would you guys like to see that happen? Now Ed Sheeran is also one of many celebrity fans who have opened up about their love for BTS. When a fan asked Ed if he would collaborate with the band, he revealed he really likes the boys. So much so in fact that he actually gave them a song. Yep, saying I actually wrote a song that I think they might be messing with. 
I really like BTS, I think they're great. And Camila Cabello is a fan too. She opened up about what she loves about BTS, their music and their work ethic, saying, I think they're super talented and cool. I saw them perform at the American Music Awards, which was their debut on American television. And I know everybody was super, super excited. A lot of my fans are their fans too. They also mentioned Havana in this one interview. It was one of my favorite performances from the show. They put a lot of work into their choreography and into their performance. And you can tell that they really work hard and I respect that a lot. Matthew McConaughey is another star who hasn't shied away from sharing his support for the band. Yep, on the Ellen DeGeneres show, he revealed he actually went to a BTS concert along with his wife and son for his son's 10th birthday. Yep, what a way to celebrate. Matthew said, We took a couple of his friends, Camilla and I went, and we loaded them up. We had a blast. We got out of our seats, we got right down in the pit and broke a sweat dancing. It was fun. Well, what are your thoughts on Hollywood's support of BTS? We'd love to hear in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to The Talker, guys. We'll catch you next time.